Hello again. Sit here. You know, the tide mill is a great big engine for grinding wheat. An engine is something that turns energy into mechanical power. A car's engine uses the energy in petrol to make the wheels turn and move the car forward. Here at the mill, we use the energy in flowing water to drive the big heavy millstones around. The millstones are very important as they grind the wheat into flour. Engines are made up of many simpler mechanisms. Engineers call these mechanisms simple machines. One of the most useful simple machines is the lever. A lever is a mechanism that makes it easier to lift things. When you apply effort to a lever, it moves around a pivot point and lifts a load. An example of a lever that you've most likely used many times is a pair of scissors. Scissors are two levers working together. The pivot point is where the blades are joined together, you apply the effort with your finger and thumb, and the load is the force needed to cut through the paper or card. There are a couple of really important levers inside the tide mill. One is part of our huge pair of balance scales. Can you see the pivot point in the middle of the beam at the top? Engineers call this point the fulcrum. In this case, I have to try to get the effort and the load to balance. The load is a sack of grain or flour, and the effort is applied by the weights I place on the other side of the beam. You may have used smaller versions of these balance scales in your maths lessons at school. The other lever is even more important, because it saves my poor old back. It's the sack bearer. This makes lifting and moving the great heavy sacks of grain and flour so much easier than trying to do it by hand. The load is a sack of grain, the fulcrum is where the wheels are, and I apply the effort by bushing down on the handle. Easy. Another simple machine that we put to good use in the tide mill is the pulley. A pulley is a special sort of wheel, and it can do all sorts of things, especially when there's more than one. Pulleys can link one piece of machinery to another and help us to lift and move heavy objects. The tide mill sack hoist uses pulleys in both these ways. This pulley carries the chain of the sack hoist. The chain runs all the way down from the top to the bottom of the mill. The downwards pull on one side creates an upward pull at the other, which then lifts the heavy sack of grain. These two pulleys are joined by a belt that loops between them. As the bottom pulley turns, it pulls down on the belt on one side, and this pulls the top pulley round. Because the belt is a loop, this goes on for as long as the bottom pulley is turning and pulling down on the belt. Without the sack hoist, I'd have had to carry these sacks up three ladders. And let me tell you, these sacks are heavy. Lifting each one is like carrying three of you. Pulleys are very good at connecting pieces of machinery that are some distance apart, but if the parts are close together and need a lot of power, sometimes gears are better. The tide mill has four sets of millstones. They need a lot of power to move them. This power comes from the water wheel, but it has to be transferred to the stones by gears and shafts. Gears are wheels with teeth. These teeth fit together and as a gear wheel turns, the teeth from one gear push the teeth on the other gear around. The tide mill has some very large gears. Many of the gear teeth are made of wood. This helps to keep the gears running smoothly and quietly. As well as transferring power, gears are good at changing the speed at which different pieces of machinery spin. This is the great spur wheel. The teeth of the great spur wheel fit together with the teeth of the stone nuts the small gears that drive the millstones on the floor above. Can you see how fast the stone nut is spinning compared to the great spur wheel? This is because the great spur wheel has eight times as many teeth, meaning that every time the larger spur wheel turns once, the smaller stone nut turns eight times. As you can see, if it wasn't for all these machines, my life would be very hard indeed. Back in the old days, the tide mill could produce over half a tonne of flour every hour. Before water mills were invented, it used to take all morning for one person to make enough flour for one loaf of bread. Machines make our lives easier by harnessing and transferring energy that doesn't need human muscles. And I'm very happy that they do.